Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between TIG welding and activated TIG welding. Gas tungsten arc welding, popularly known as tungsten inert gas welding or TIG welding, is one fusion welding process where an arcade is established between the non-consumable tungsten electrode and the base plates. Activated tungsten inert gas welding is one variant of conventional TIG welding process where a thin layer of appropriate activating flux is applied on the base plates prior to welding. So, let's look into the basic differences between TIG welding and activated TIG welding in a tabular form. Difference number 1. In TIG welding, no activated flux is applied on the base plates at any stage of welding, whereas, in activated TIG welding, a thin layer of activated flux mainly oxides or halides is applied on the fain surfaces and surrounding areas of the base plates before establishing the arc. Number 2. Depth of penetration achieved by TIG welding is less, typically a maximum of 3.5 mm in a single pass, whereas, activated TIG welding fetches enhanced penetration. More than 300% increment of about 10 to 12 mm in a single pass can be achieved by this process. Number 3. In TIG welding, cross-sectional area of the arc is comparatively more. This undesirably increases width of the weld bead, whereas, in activated TIG welding, activated flux can constrict the arc to a reduced arc width, and thus narrow weld bead can be achieved under same welding parameters. Number 4. Heat intensity of electric arc is also comparatively low in TIG welding, whereas, in activated TIG welding, heat intensity increases due to arc constriction. Number 5. In TIG welding, limited penetration necessitates edge preparation and multiple passes for welding thicker components, whereas, due to increased depth of penetration without any edge preparation, activated TIG welding can eliminate the requirements of edge preparation and multiple passes. Number 6. In TIG welding, the width of heat affected zone and angle of distortion are comparatively more due to higher heat input per unit area, especially for thicker components, whereas, in activated TIG welding, arc constriction and elimination of multiple passes together can considerably reduce heat affected zone width and distortion. Number 7. TIG welding can be advantageously applied for thin plates to a thickness up to 3 mm, whereas, activated TIG welding, is preferred for joining thicker components. Number 8. In TIG welding, no additional step is required to apply flux on base plates. Cost of flux is not associated with it, whereas, in activated TIG welding, additional step is required for preparation and application of flux. Cost of the flux is additional expenditure. And, difference number 9. No slag layer forms on weld bead in TIG welding, whereas, in activated TIG welding, Sometimes the activating flux leads to the formation of thin slag layer on the weld bead, 